First at 11, earlier today, multiple Cobb County schools went into lockdown. The district says that a human error prompted a code red in several schools. So less than two years ago, a similar situation happened in all of Cobb's 115 schools, and they had a different security system in place. 11 Alive's Paolo Searle joins us live from Cobb County with more on that. Paolo? Yeah, Ron, you know, this is one of the schools here behind me that we were told had a code red prompting that lockdown. Now, human error or not, parents tell me they're frustrated because something similar happened less than two years ago, as you just mentioned. But, you know, I spoke with one mom today who tells me her son was texting her through it all, making her heart stop. A code red sending multiple Cobb County schools into lockdown and parents into panic. The thing went off and said code red and they all went to a classroom in the dark. This is the heart-wrenching text message one mother received from her son today. She wants to remain anonymous because she also works for the district. It's scary to get that text to know it could be like the last one you're getting from your kid. And when I talked to him later, he said he, said he wasn't scared, but he just wanted to text in case he died. Her son was then told it was a drill. However, the district tells 11 Alive that one of its staff members, quote, accidentally triggered a code red at multiple campuses and that it's being treated as a personnel matter. They're saying that it's a personnel matter. We'll never even know what went wrong with it because they won't have to talk about it publicly and they won't talk about it publicly. So we'll never know. Was this a design flaw? Was this a problem with training? For parents like Heather Tolly Bauer, this is deja vu. Different product, different company, same problem. Less than two years ago, Ago, the district's then $5 million security system alert point triggered a lockdown at all Cobb County schools. The newer system installed in the fall, Syntegix, cost the district nearly $3 million. This keeps happening and nobody's being held accountable for it. We asked the district how many schools were affected but have not heard back. Tolly Bauer, who's with the watchdog group watching the funds Cobb, says they've confirmed today's alarm went off in at least these seven schools. You know, it's our tax dollars and they need to make sure that, that they instill confidence our confidence in this product and their ability to properly vet a product and make sure that we're purchasing what's going to work. Now, guys, we did reach out to Syntegix. That's the company that has the security system in place here in the county. And it tells me in the last 30 minutes or so, the company is, it, it tells me it's a crisis alert solution does enable authorized people to send out alerts to several locations. And it also reiterated that there was According to them, no malfunction to the system, but that this was due to, again, a staff member in the district. 